Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going through the add classes component. Let's look at creating a timeline structure with the add classes component. If you have not seen video one or example one of the add classes series, please check out example one. It's the most basic example and I go through in more detail how everything works. We have a normal collection list on the page. We are targeting our collection list class and we are turning this CMS driven dynamic list into a timeline structure. So this is what we're going for. Left, right, alternating. We're doing some flipping. We are creating something that looks like a timeline, but it's 100% CMS driven. Let's check out this live example and see this working. This is our official dynamic list with the alternating sides in a timeline structure. Awesome. So let's go in back into designer, see what classes we need to add and then jump into the custom code. Let's look at the add on classes we have to use to make this timeline structure work. First, we're adding timeline one, then we're adding timeline two. That's it. Timeline one is going to be applied to the first item and go to every other item. So one, three, five, and seven are getting timeline one add on class. Timeline two is going to start at two and be added every other item. So two, four, six, and eight are going to get timeline two. We're actually able to make all of this work with just these two add on classes. Timeline one is going to change the direction of the flex. It's going to change some alignment. It's going to justify and it's going to change the padding. Awesome. Timeline two is not going to change the, the direction. It's going to have a different justify and the padding and margin are going to be different. So you can see that we have taken this pretty ugly kind of not nice to look at structure and with the add classes component we're going to be adding this structure let's go into the custom code and see how these classes are added to every other item let's look at this code and see how we create this timeline structure again if you have not seen example one check that out first because it goes in a lot more detail in how this works the very first thing we're going to do is add the FN Suite CMS library. We will have the live hosted file for you when we launch. We will create a new FS library targeted at the collection list class, and that's all going to be stored in a variable called Project Grid. We're going to be using Project Grid down here. We're going to be using Project Grid down here. This variable is reused to target this collection list class. We have two different arrays because we are adding two different classes to two different iteration levels of items. The first one is timeline layout one. We are targeting the collection list item, add classes. We're going to add timeline one to this target. And we are storing that in a variable called timeline layout one. Now we run add classes on the instance. So we're taking that project grid, we're running add classes on it, and we are defining our class array as timeline layout one. So the first item in our collection list is going to get the timeline one add on class, and it's going to happen every other item. Item one, item three, item five, item seven will get timeline one. Nice. We have one, three, five, and seven done. Now we're gonna focus on two, four, six, and eight, and that's going to be controlled by our timeline layout two. And timeline layout two is adding timeline two to our target of collection list item add classes. We have our project grid. We are running the add classes component with a class array of our timeline layout two. We're going to start that in the second item in the dynamic list, and we're going to add that every other item, frequency of two. 
And that's it. This is how we create this timeline layout. Nice and simple, just two different classes being added every other item. That's effing sweet.